Hey y'all, if you're new here, I'm Jacob, aka Sly Wolf, and today we're going to be going over all the NYCC Funko Pop reveals that we received this week, and there is a ton of them. This is one of the biggest cons that we will see all year long, guys. There's a lot of them, so let's jump in, let's get started. Guys, like I said in the intro, we are going over the NYCC Funko Pop reveals that did happen this week. There's a lot of them, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this. First up on the list, guys, we do have the NYCC Funko Pop mascots, which is Polly Pigeon and Pizza Rat. Now, we do get these guys every single year. They're typically just a color swap, but overall, guys, I do think they look really great. And honestly, that Pizza Rat might be coming to my personal collection once these drop. Next up on the list, guys, we do have some pops that are pretty unique to the Funko community. We have a Polaroid camera as well as a Rubik's Cube. Now, I think both of these pops are super cute. Most likely not something I'll be adding to my personal collection, but honestly, if you just take a look at that Rubik's Cube, guys, it's adorable. Next up, we do have some odd icons coming in, and by multiple, I just mean one, guys. We have Kaboom from Kaboom Serial coming. This does make the second Kaboom that we have received, uh, the first one being a Funko Soda, which is also a Comic-Con exclusive. Next up on the list, guys, we do have a Pop Rocks pop coming, which is the Notorious B.I.G. And of course, guys, uh, this does make quite a few Biggie Pops we've gotten now. Uh, this one is a little more unique, though. It is a full gold suit with a gold fedora. And honestly, guys, this pop does look amazing. It is metallic on all the gold, um, so that does help it out pretty well, in my opinion, and does put it above a pretty big peg above the other uh, Notorious B.I.G. Pops that we have gotten. Uh, next up, guys, we do have some pop movies coming. Uh, we did receive a Borat pop, which looks amazing. And honestly, the fact that they labeled it as Borat uh, with flag and suit means that most likely we'll be seeing some more Borats coming in the future. Also in the pop movie categories, we are getting Roger from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and that pop looks amazing. Really good, happy for a new mold for this, finally. The old one um, is pretty outdated, in my opinion. We're also getting Guy from Free Guy and Kayla from Jurassic World Dominion. Also in the movie category, guys, we are getting some Star Wars and some Harry Potter pops. For the Star Wars pops, we are getting Anakin from Attack of the Clones, uh, where he is dual wielding lightsabers, as well as from the upcoming Endor movie or Endor show. Sorry, we are getting, uh, I believe it's pronounced B2 EMO, uh, which I I'm not a big Star Wars guy, so I don't know a whole lot about uh, Andor, but I will say the Anakin looks amazing. Then, guys, from Harry Potter, we are getting Harry Potter with the Sword of Gryffindor, also holding a Basculus Fang. And then we are getting Neville being carried by the Pixies. I think both of these pops look amazing. I'm a huge Harry Potter guy. Um, honestly, I have some Harry Potter pops right here. Um, so, honestly, I do think that these pops look fantastic. My only complaint is that I do wish um, that the Harry Potter with the Sword and Basculus Fang did have a little bit of blood on it. Right after Pop Movies, guys, we are getting some Pop Disney. Uh, first one being Clarabelle Cow, as well as Professor Owl, which I think both of these look amazing. Uh, neither one of these really scream Comic-Con to me, but overall, guys, I do think they look uh, amazing. Also from the Disney's category, we are getting uh, Merida from Brave, holding a bow and arrow, as well as Smee um, with Skull Rock as a Pop Town. Um, I do wish that they would have did a water base for the entire design instead of just Pop Rocks, or instead of just for, um, sorry guys, uh, Skull Rock. I do think uh, a water base across the entire thing would have looked a lot better. But overall, guys, I do think it looks amazing. And lastly, for Disney, we are getting a 3-liter soda, which is the Maleficent as Dragon with a Chase variant with Green Flames and Diamond Edition. All right, guys, after Disney, we did get a Pixar reveal, which is a kid and doggy as a pop-in buddy from the Pixar short that was released earlier this year. After Pixar, we did get some animation categories, which I think these are some of the best ones that we'll be seeing. Anime and animation um, honestly did really well for this con. For animation, we are getting Jimbo and Kearney from The Simpsons, which is two of the bullies that we see in the show. Both of these pops look amazing in my opinion. That Jimbo probably looks better than the Kearney, but overall, these are amazing pops, and I believe they're going to be pretty hot sellers. Also in pop television, we are getting the Mona Lisa Saperstein from Parks and Rec. I have not seen Parks and Rec, so if I mispronounced that last name, guys, I do apologize. Also, we are getting a pop from The Office, which is Halloween Kelly Kapoor. The Office pops typically do sell pretty well, so I think this one's going to do great. Also from a show I've never seen, we're getting Uhtred, once again, sorry if I mispronounced that, from The Last Kingdom, 
Coach, Bar uh, Coach Beard from Ted Lasso, as well as Sergeant Slaughter from G.I. Joe. Lastly, for the television line, we are getting a Vecna 2-pack, which will include the Vecna from Stranger Things, as well as the Vecna from Dungeons & Dragons, which both of these honestly look pretty good. Uh, they are just slight differences from the original modes that did come out, and then the very last pop from the television line we are getting is probably the best one from the television line, which is Steve from Blue's Clues. Uh, this pop looks amazing. He does have the pen and the handy dandy notebook in it, which I think just gives so much more detail to the pop. And honestly, this is 100% a pop that will be coming home once these drop on Condé. Uh, next up, after television, we did get some DC and Marvel announcements. First up from DC, guys, we do have Superman Red, which is very similar to the Superman Blue that we already have. I believe the head and the body are actually the same. The only difference is the coloring and, of course, the hands are different. We're also getting an Aquaman, a Star Sapphire, as well as an Emperor Joker pop. And then we are getting a Jon Stewart Green Lantern soda that is coming as well. Next up from Marvel, guys, we are getting another 3-liter soda, which is the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut does have a chase variant where he is half damaged on the mask. I think it honestly looks great, and Juggernaut is such a good character. Next up, guys, for Marvel, we do have a couple normal size sodas coming out, which is Jean Grey from X-Men with a chase variant version of her as Dark Phoenix, uh, which does glow in the dark. Also from Marvel, guys, we are getting a Shuri soda from Black Panther, which also has a glow in the dark variant. Uh, then we do have a couple pops coming. Uh, from the Marvel line, we do have the Statue of Liberty that was shown in the uh, Spider-Man No Way Home movie. It's the one where he's holding, uh, the Statue of, Statue of Liberty is holding Cap's shield. Also, we are getting Groot from the series I Am Groot, um, which is super cute. If you notice, he's in pajamas. That is amazing, and I would love to pick this one up. Also for Marvel, we are getting Nick Fury from the Secret Invasion show that is coming out soon. I think it looks amazing, guys. Next up, guys, we do have some pops from the pop animation category. And honestly, pop animation slash anime is getting a bunch of things. First up on the list, guys, we are getting uh, Yosemite Sam as Black Knight. And then we are getting two more Gloomy Bear pops, which is almost kind of like a Chase variant situation going on here. Uh, if you can see them both down on the screen, but one is a non-flocked while the other one is a flocked with blood on him. And honestly, most people are going to be going for the flocked version with blood. So expect that one to sell out first. And like I said, it's it's kind of weird that they're doing a semi-chase variant, but not really um, in this situation. Also, we are getting two more uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as Power Rangers, which of course everyone saw this coming. We are getting Mikey as the Yellow Ranger, as well as Raphael for, uh, as, the, as the Red Ranger. Um, I do think that only leaves we need a Shredder and we need a um, April, I believe. And that could be incorrect, but I believe that's all we need. Also from the animation category, guys, we are getting one of the best pops that was announced today, which is Swamp Fire from Ben 10. We are finally getting some Ben 10 pops. I know the community has been waiting for these for a long time now. And honestly, that Swamp Fire looks amazing. Shifting from animation over to anime, uh, we are getting some pretty good pops in the anime area as well. First up, we are getting a pop deluxe, which is the five-headed dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I think this pop does look great. However, I will say I do think it looks very similar to the Tiamat pop that was released, I believe, last year for Khan uh, from the Dungeon and Dragons line. Also from anime, guys, we are getting another Itadori pop, this time with glasses, and we're getting a two-pack from the Orion High School uh, Host Club. I have not seen this, so I'm not even going to try to say their name, guys, but I think the two-pack does look amazing, and the Itadori pop does look great, even though this does make, I think, the eighth Itadori we have gotten, if you include the Sakuna variants. Um, now, coming up from the anime line, guys, we do have some DBZ pops. I, actually, we're getting three DBZ pops. Two of them are Goku's and Ultra Instinct Sign, and Ultra Instinct doing a Kamehameha. I think these two pops do look amazing, and they are metallic, so that's great. Um, also, we are getting a second form cell. Now, I know that we do have a lot of Goku pops, um, but like I've already said, these two do look amazing in my opinion. The aura around Goku by himself is just fantastic. Not to mention the fact that they're both metallic, which is going to make them look even better. And I honestly, I can't wait to get both of these in my hands and for sure come into my personal collection. Now, The Last of Anime is a huge one. Okay, guys, it is a pop that people have been talking about, it has been rumored, and it is the Luffy on the Going Merry from One Piece. This pop has been rumored now for so many different cons, and it has never dropped, and people have been waiting for it for so long. I honestly think some people in the community already started losing hope for it, and then they announced it this week, and it is insane. Just the detail on the Going Merry by itself looks amazing. It's a new Luffy mold. I think overall, this pop is going to be huge. 
It is a pop ride, guys. So it is a, one of those bigger style pops. But I do think this pop is going to sell out. Pretty much going to be the first one to sell out when they drop all of these. There's also going to be people lining up for hours and hours and hours before the shared retailer even opens. Uh, lastly, guys, shifting a little bit away from pop anime, uh, we are getting a soda of Eric Draven from The Crow with a chase ring with The Crow on it. We are also getting a mask of Frankenstein and a t-shirt. The thing, guys, we are getting is a uh, pop and bag combo that features Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, guys, that is everything that was announced this week for New York Comic Con. That is insane, the amount of items that they announced. SDCC this year was much, much smaller. Um, it's a lot of stuff, guys. I want you to make sure to comment down below which is your favorite pop that was announced this week. For me, it's got to be one of those Gokus or the Going Merry or Swamp Fire. Honestly, all three of those are super amazing pops. All, all of them look amazing. Technically, all four because two Gokus. Uh, but if I had to pick a Goku, it's going to be the one with him doing the Kamehameha. I think it looks amazing, guys. There will be a video coming soon going over all the shared retailers where you can get all these pops from. So if you want to see that, guys, make sure to subscribe. Also, like the video so I know that you're uh, enjoying the content. And, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.